In an era long past, the night was a cloak for a profound terror. A terror that, by morning, had vanished, leaving only devastation in its wake. This was the fate meted out to those who dared to plunder and loot, a divine retribution that was swift and absolute. One such night bore witness to a divine intervention of epic proportions. The angel of the Lord, the divine executor of justice, descended upon the Assyrian camp. By dawn, 185,000 lay lifeless, their breath snuffed out in the silence of the night. Mighty men of valor, leaders, and commanders, none were spared the wrath of the divine. Yet, even as the angel's hand stretched out to wreak destruction upon Jerusalem, the Lord held back the calamity. The voice of the divine commanded the angel, Enough, withdraw your hand now. A testament to the merciful nature of the divine, even in the face of retribution. Our existence is fleeting. Seventy years, eighty if strength favors us. Yet in our pride we labor and sorrow, for our days pass quickly, and we fly away. This tale echoes a profound lesson. Pay what is due. Taxes to whom taxes are owed, revenue to whom revenue is due, respect to whom respect is due, and honor to whom honor is due. For the authorities are ministers of God attending to this very thing. The servant of God and avenger carries out divine wrath on wrongdoers. Subjection is not merely a means to avoid divine wrath, but a matter of conscience. Angels, ministering spirits, serve those who will inherit salvation. Yet it is not angels he helps, but Abraham's descendants. A stark reminder of the divine favor that rests upon the righteous. For those who defy the divine, the consequence is severe. Herod, who failed to give glory to God, was struck down by an angel of the Lord, and his demise was both swift and gruesome. Yet, even in the face of divine wrath, there is mercy. The angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite, a testament to divine presence in times of hardship. This tale serves as a reminder to subject ourselves to governing authorities, for all authority is divine, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Resisting such authorities is tantamount to resisting the divine, a path that leads to judgment. Rulers are not a terror to good conduct but to bad. Fear not the one in authority if you do what is good, and you will receive his approval. In this chronicle of divine wrath and mercy, we're reminded of the omnipresence of the divine the consequence of defiance and the reward of righteousness. A tale as old as time, yet as relevant as ever. As we journey through life, let's remember to honor and respect authority, for in doing so, we honor and respect the divine.